Hello, Uggies Worldwide. I'm Dave Kassler, amateur radio call sign KE0OG, here with another episode of Ask Dave. Today, we're going to look at a troubling uh, problem with uh, getting RF loose in the shack or in your house where it can cause problems with things. Uh, he's, this is from Tim Ridley, KE8RHS. He says he's a fairly new ham. Uh, who just recently got his general license. I purchased a Kenwood TS440 at the Ham Fest in Cadillac, Michigan. Now the TS440 I think is one of the first radios that's all um, transistor and I'm not sure it has a tuner in it so you may need an external tuner. I also purchased the parts to build a 40 meter dipole including a one-to-one -one ballon kit I got from Amazon. So uh, you got something. I don't know what it is. Personally, and I know this is not best practice, but personally I like feeding dipoles directly by just soldering the coax to the antenna. But a lot of people feel otherwise, so I won't push on that. Um, I built the dipole and put it as an inverted V with the center point being around 32 feet. He says he has lots of tall oak trees. Do send some our way. We could always use more trees in Colorado. I was able to tune the antenna with my Nano VNA. Okay, I would tune it with your... Oh, that's right. I'm not sure that the TS440 has an SWR meter in it. You might want to just get a tuner that has an SWR meter in it. The easiest thing to tune for is the least reflected power. Now, um, that may not be the point of resonance. There's... Because of the way it works, uh, SWR is what's called a scalar, it, meaning it has no dimensions really, and or just one dimension, you know, and that means you can always say one SWR is greater than another or less than. Um, and uh, the problem is that the actual vector framework is two-dimensional with the imaginary axis in one dimension and the real axis in another. So actually if you introduce, for example, a touch of capacitance in the antenna, uh, you can cause the reflected power to come down and uh, you'll end up with a better SWR, uh, even though it's slightly reactive. And that'll go with sometimes with inductance too. Um, and that's fine, that's okay because your tuner will present the 50 ohm um, with zero reactance uh, to the antenna. I do recommend that you definitely get a tuner. I built the dipole and put it up as an inverted V, okay. Was able to tune the antenna with my Nano VNA. So he's got an antenna he really likes. Seems to receive and transmit performance is good. Picked up operator from Kentucky, New York, Vermont, Canada, plus made um, my first HF transmission was the gentleman doing POTA, that's Parks on the Air, as in National Parks, uh, in Pennsylvania, which is a portable operation. You go into a park, set up your station, and operate. That's called activating. Uh, however, when I made my transmission, I had an issue. My computer speakers on my home PC echoed the transmission very loudly. The PC is in my office on the main floor and the rig in the basement on the opposite side of the house. What have I done wrong? Nothing, probably. Um, I could have screwed up the ballon. Uh, no. Uh, any help you can give me would be great. I do live in an HOA, though a very lax one, and I don't want to upset the neighbors. Okay, the first thing I want to say is computer speakers are notorious for picking up RF. They are a commodity, therefore they are built at the lowest possible construction price, and almost all of them have no RF shielding whatsoever. So the fact that your computer speakers act up when you transmit, I would say that the best thing to do is turn them off and ignore them. Now the next thing that comes to mind when we do uh, noise and stuff like that is grounding. Um, and you may find grounding helps in this situation, but uh, computer speakers are so poorly manufactured 
that it may not, but you should have right outside your station, the usual ground rod. Your coax should go to the ground rod to the lightning protector that's there. I prefer the Alpha Delta, but the Morgan and uh, oh, there's one other brand um, that makes them, and if you ask DS, DX Engineering, they'll, they'll tell you which ones. And then go from there to your dipole. Um, that may help eliminate some RF noise too in your received signal. Uh, grounding is, <laughs> I guess it's come into the vernacular that being well grounded means you're a more stable, settled person. A well grounded amateur radio station is more settled and has less noise. So I would try that too. But um, to answer your question directly, your computer speakers, the best thing to do with them uh, is turn them off while you're operating. Then you won't have to worry about them. Um, now, the other thing, of course, is if you are getting RF in the shack because you don't have proper grounding, uh, that could cause the problem too. So I hope that helps. Um, please subscribe. Please click like. Do all of those things that influence the YouTube algorithm to send people to my channel. Uh, if you'd like to contribute financially to the channel, not contribute, I'm not a charity. If you would like to support my channel financially, you may do so by going to decastler.com uh, slash support and look for different ways that you can do them there. Until we next meet, 73.